three, that our final four teams will be 30 above 30 wins. Our last, our last quarterfinal, both teams are already over 30, so it'll be the first time ever we'll see four 30-win teams in the final four tomorrow night. So that's uh, some very exciting stuff. And joining us is a very exciting team, Florida Southern. And Coach, we'll let you uh, open up with uh, comments, and then we'll open it up for questions. Well, I mean, I thought, I thought we played a very good team in Southern New Hampshire tonight. Um, they came out to start of the game, and they hit about everything they shot. Uh, they got every rebound. I told our guys at halftime, I think we set an NCAA record for the fewest amount of rebounds in, in a half. Um, I think we had seven at halftime. And I thought they came out and really took it to us at the start of the game. I thought when we got our pressure on and we started scoring on them, uh, we were able to create turnovers, which is our biggest key. At the end of the day, we look at turnovers. You know, We had 11, they had 24. That's 13 more possessions for us which is always a big key. I thought we did a good job turning them over. We thought our pressure uh, could cause them into some turnovers. You know, I don't know how a lot of teams play in their league, but we didn't see anybody that pressed the way we, we can press. And I thought we got after them. And once we started getting some turnovers and got a few easy baskets, I think we relaxed a little bit and started playing the way we're capable of. Thank you very much, Coach. Joining us on the dais is Kevin Capers. Stephen Battle and Michael Bolovic. We will open it up for questions. Once again, name and affiliation and fire away. We'll start off with you, Dan. Uh, Dan Short, Bettinsville Curry Press. Kevin, you guys held them without a field goal for like 11 minutes when you're back in the first half, and yet they still hung around and got tied at 54. What, what were you guys thinking? Can hey, we put these guys away? And then you finally did. You, I mean, you, you had a pass to uh, Travis there, and you guys got a pass to Talk about what they were doing to hang around. I mean, they were hitting shots against the boards. I mean, uh, and another thing is, we've been in that situation before, so there wasn't nothing we weren't used to. So we just really just got together as a team and started playing our basketball. Michael, talk about uh, just come, come back home and have a game points. Um, I think the biggest thing for me was my high school coaches in the stands. <laughs> and I just kind of wanted to play the way I'm capable of because honestly, these past couple of games, I, I think I've been a little bit of a slump and I just want to come back and these guys and Coach Darwin put so much confidence in me and I don't hesitate to shoot it and I had to go a little bit tonight. So it was just, it was fun to do that back at home a little bit. Let's go on the back on the, on the uh, platform. Yes, Coach, uh, Creighton Rams, betterrank.com. Um, you look at at the first, first few minutes of the game, we heard uh, – IEP's head coach, and I believe Tarleton's head coach, talking about the first five minutes. Sometimes you get nerves. How much of that was that a was that a how much of that rather was a factor? Well, we talked about it before we went out about it's a forty minute game, and just like the, in the first game, Tarleton got down seven right away, and we got down right away, and it wasn't the panic. And you still have, it's a long game. Whether we get up seven or eight, or we get down seven or eight to start the game, don't panic. You know, I think everybody was a pretty little, probably a little bit nervous first going out there. Um, you know, TK Tyler Kelly dribbles it off his leg the very first possession. We miss a shot the second possession. We turn it over the third possession, and that's very uncommon for us. We normally do a great job of taking care of the ball. I think we had six turnovers in the first seven or eight minutes of the game, and then we finished with three or four there in the last probably 25, 26 minutes, which is big for us. Um, you know, so the first game, I think, and the first game in the regional is always your toughest. And I think the first game in the Elite Eight is your toughest. And two years ago when we played here, we got down and we couldn't overcome it. Um, you know, and, that, and this year I think we did a better job. Kevin and TK had played in that game. And I think them having played in that game, I think, helped us get going tonight. Go ahead, Dan. Uh, Coach, I'll ask you, too, that question. about They're hanging around and get back. They actually tie it up at 54. Talk about what, what you were thinking at that point. Well, we told our guys, eventually you're going to start missing. You know, we thought we could take their legs from them with our pressure. Um, and I remember the shot. It, we, we missed. Kevin went to the basket. I thought he got fouled. He missed the layup. They came down. And uh, BJ hit, hit, hit another three on us to tie it at 54-54. And like Kevin said, we've been in those situations a lot this year. Um, and it wasn't time to panic or get worried. It was just keep doing what we've done. And our guys have done a good job of it. I mean, we've been in tough situations a lot this year, and that's one reason we played the non-conference schedule that we played was so uh, it would prepare us for our league play and beyond. Um, I'm not a big believer in going and playing a lot of teams. You feel you're going to beat by 30 or 40. 
we try to go schedule as good of teams that we can play to get us ready for our conference. And, you know, we've been in those situations. We've been down four or five with a minute and a half, two minutes to go, and have found ways to win. Go ahead. Coach Sarger, Steve Walton, the Southern, um, getting out rebounded like you did and trailing for most of the first half. Uh, just kind of what was your message to the team at that time? Well, the big thing was, was going to get put a body on somebody. You know, they're big, they're physical, and they come after those rebounds. And you got to go put a body on them. If you don't put a body on them, they're not going to call a foul. You know, they just went and got it over us. And I don't think they were going over back. I thought the second half, we did a better job of going and getting a body. We got a couple over the backs called. But, you know, the biggest thing that was worrying me is that we, we turned it over a few times. You know, if, if you look at our team, we're probably going to get out rebounded by most teams. We're probably going to be the littlest team out here playing. Uh, and that's why our pressure and our turnovers, creating turnovers, is a bigger stat than what the rebounding stat is at the end of the day. You know, if we get up a lot more shots than the other team, they're probably going to get more defensive rebounds than us. And tonight, you know, we get up 82 shots to their 67. That's 15 more shots. They've got more opportunities to get defensive rebounds when we get more shots. So the biggest category we look at is turnovers. You know, how many turnovers do we force? And forcing 24 turnovers is, is a big stat for us. And when normally, if, if at the end of the day, we force 12 turnovers, and we have 12, and we get beat on the glass, we probably lose. Back on the platform. Uh, Steven or Michael, um, talk about the impact Kevin has on, you know, he's been, this is not his first rodeo, so how, how much have you been leaning on him for advice on how to handle uh, this type of situation? Steven, why don't you take it first? Well, um, Kevin, he draws a lot of attention. So on offense events, when he turns heads, that gives us a chance that he just opened up the offense, which is what helps a whole lot if a point guard can do that. Um, I would say the same with Steph, but also, uh, Kev, to me, is my biggest fan, my biggest critic, and he gets on me all the time in practice and in games, and I think him being here and being a senior and being through all this has helped me so much this year. Any other questions? Coach will be available uh, for one-on-ones outside the locker room for a few moments. Um, if you have any one-on-one -on -one or any other additional questions, gentlemen, congratulations, and we'll see you tomorrow night at 8.30 in semifinal number two. Thank you.